Hi, my name is Norbert Reider from Ericsson Research Budapest. In this demo, we showcase automated guided vehicles, AGVs, that are controlled from the cloud, and they will solve collaborative missions. First, I will describe the background of the application, and then I will show you the demo with real mobile robots. This demo is made as part of 5G Smart, 5G is for Smart Manufacturing EU project, where one of the goals is to demonstrate evaluate and validate 5G capabilities in three different 5G-enabled industry field trials across Europe. This particular application will be later on applied in a real semiconductor factory of Bosch, and this work will be done together with Ericsson Research and BME University. As you may know, Transportation is a very essential part of production. Efficient transport of material is important because any outage in that service can have a direct impact on the productivity. In modern factories, AGVs are doing the transportation and these devices have the complete control stack on the device. Moving intelligence from the device up to the cloud can increase flexibility and programmability by a large ex extent. Just imagine that we collect information from individual AGVs and then relocate it in the same environment. And we can use this information to implement, for instance, synchronous collaboration. Uh, AGVs can create, uh, use, and update common maps uh, in the cloud. And they can also coordinate the trajectories. Also, we can en enhance the navigation capabilities of the AGVs. Uh, just imagine one example when an AGV is, is doing a mission, and there is an obstacle on its way. And of course, it will reroute its path to the destination. But in the, at the same time, it will inform the rest of the AGVs so they can already incorporate this information in their own path planning. And they can select the alternative routes to the destination, which may not be optimal in time or distance, but at least it will be a feasible uh, way to approach the, that, that, that location. In general, we can say that uh, cloud-based uh, uh, execution of these software components can also um, make the software upgrades, maintenance, and, and reconfiguration uh, easier. We don't have to approach the physical hardware. All in all, uh, using the reliable service of 5G and the low latency communication service of 5G, we can move the complete control stack from the device up to the cloud. And this is what we do here in this demo as well. As you can see on this figure, we have two uh, AGVs. One is a commercial AGV, MIR 100, and the other one is custom built for this research project. And this is why we call it a research AGV. And with the research one, we can move the complete control stack up to the cloud, not just including the high level control like navigation and SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping part, but also like sensor data processing and servo or motion control, which is doing the kinematics, inverse and forward kinematics calculations. And that is, it's actually a real-time application. And by doing that, we minimize the resource requirements uh, needed on board, uh, and not just increasing the battery lifetime of this mobile device, but more importantly, we create much uh, simpler architecture of the AGV, and thereby it will be less expensive later on. This is not really the case with a commercial device, because typically they have closed APIs, which means that we cannot touch or modify the control logic or, or even update the map. But with this particular one we use here, we could externalize the high, higher layer control, the navigation and the slam part. But of course, as you can see on the figure, the rest is running on board. And one important and most important entity is the fleet controller or the fleet manager, which can serve as a common brain of, of, this, uh, of these systems. Because that is handling the common map updates and sharing among the AGVs, and it also coordinates the trajectories. I have to make one note. We run one function on board, and this is the safety. And it is a must to have if we want to run this system in a real environment. And it, it is more like a hardware solution, so it's not really a soft, software component. 
we basically hardwired the output of the sensor with the servo motor. So if there is an obstacle seen around the device in the red zone, it will stop the motion of the robot immediately. OK, so let's see now the demo scenarios. Uh, in this particular realization of the demo, we will use Wi-Fi as a communication interface between the device and the cloud. Uh, because we have much uh, relaxed environment, we have uh, lower constraints on reliability, uh, mobility, and latency, then we will have to evaluate or fulfill later on in a real semiconductor factory in Reutlingen. So we can leave for now with, with Wi-Fi, but we will switch to 5G later on, of course. The demo scenarios itself, we identified four. One is that we will create a map with the Mir AGV, the commercial one, and we will use this map to navigate uh, itself on the, on the environment. And later on, we will use this map shared with the research AGV, and it will do some navigation based on that uh, on, the, on the track. On the, fourth, on, on the third and the fourth uh, steps, we will um, send a mission to the, to the Mir AGV, and uh, we will block it uh, its way manually. And then we will see how it reroutes its path and how it shares this information with the other AGV so it can already incorporate that in its own path planning. So thank you for this part. And let's see now the real demo. So what we can see now is that the MIR AGV scans its environment and creates a map. This map will be shared later on with the other device. You can see on the screen how this map becomes more rich more detailed and complete at the end. Now the Mir AGV is going back to its home position and the created map is already available in the cloud and shared with the other device. In the next demo scenario, we will use this map for navigation, first with the Mir AGV, so we will see how it is uses uh, for its own uh, navigation, and I even block its way manually with the chair. That is actually quite challenging to detect. It sees only the legs of the chair. But now it is detected as an obstacle, and it tries to find an alternative way to the target location. It tries to squeeze itself into the narrow corridor between the wall and the chair, but it is not feasible, because the robot has safety zone, uh, so the footprint of the device is larger than the physical dimension, what you see. Now it, it found actually a, a, an alternative way where there is no obstacles and execute that. We will do the same with the research AGV. So it will not see the chair when, when it's planned uh, the path, but it's also detected now and trying to, to go near the obstacle, but it will realize again that it's not feasible. This device has also a safety zone around that, and it would violate that if it goes into that very narrow area. So it's again found another alternative and executed that towards the target location. In the third scenario, we send a mission to the Mir AGV, but we also add a temporal wall manually, which is not visible at the moment. You can see on its map how it detects this wall and add to the common map. So it realizes it cannot go through and already find, finding, uh, it's already finding another alternative. You can see the red line now, it's appearing on the map, showing that it will go uh, around the circle to reach its final position. This new temporal wall detected by this device is already shared and, and added to the common map. So if we send the same mission to the research AGV, it will immediately plan its path on the longer route because it is the only feasible one. Now it's finishing its mission 
and you can see on the lower map that how this wall is added and how the global plan is selected by this device and it's already taking this longer way to the destination. So this is how you can uh, exploit this common knowledge uh, in the cloud if you are using AGVs. And actually, by that, using this common intelligence, you can make the operation much more efficient. The research AGV is now maneuvering to its final position and finishes its, its mission. I really hope that you enjoyed this demo and we will add the more use cases later on. But if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your attention.